eh iwe nanu are ngitong na iwe tarwa na ang na lutu atom umetori kunya ngai ni ai ni toki ni ari kwangai na yo pikira kumok kiti angang nabo na ranje sana ina iwa rajo gi paka nyonda iba yebe tibi yo uno no ngai ni bi yo ba yane te ngai eh Technically, a Maasai man can have as many wives as he wants to. Now, the concept of polygamy has always intrigued me because it is so foreign and so different from what I was taught about love and marriage in the Western culture. You know, that notion where two individuals come together as two pieces of a whole to complete each other in perfect romance and harmony. That is just so different from what happens here. So I've come out here all the way to this Tanzanian village, a Maasai village, to learn a little bit more about what it's like to have co-wives. So this is Yaya. And, <laughs> and I met Yaya through Stephanie, her daughter-in-law. And uh, Yaya has agreed to explain to me mass about Maasai marriage, how it works and what it's like to have a husband who has other wives. Eh, arana no penina na ingwa bana atwa Maasai di dewa ke manya pa lutu enako. Arana no ngara isiet. Na tangai ni ai na bishana na tangai le. Ni ke ya kudu orungana kumo tangang. Eh. Yaya and her family live in the Maasai steppe in Tanzania, far from the country's popular tourist attractions like Kilimanjaro or Zanzibar. They all live together in a boma. In Maasai culture, that's an extended household or a family unit with several houses built around a central cattle pen. This is their home. Maasai, <laughs> menge nje kiri kyake minyor kyara ke ninye ki bonu kilo kyake babalino ne ke dumwe hor bayan hata du itadua hati to ne ki kyake ne lo duke ya mani la to ndina lo ni lo sinya mugwa bayla waya ila ka nyoru mila madu te ni lo tia nginyi ni nwanga nginyi kyake bi jogi ayeri ta emutu ay ayara ki tangara enda Ugali is not like a traditional part of the Maasai diet, is it? It didn't used to be, but it is now. So now it has become their staple. But in the past, and you hear that also in the books when they explain to you about Maasai culture, and I think many people think that that's still true. They tell you they just eat milk and blood and maybe meat sometimes, mm -hmm. but they don't do that anymore. Oh, una kula. Eh. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> Agora pati aba ka ke duo ki njoyo papali no basi agora rara e denyo ko ditor motani nelo eh Uh, Maasai, they don't count the kettles because it's considered bad luck to count how many kettles you have, so they don't do it. What about that one? What's her name? This one's called Pemba. Pemba, mm. like Pemba Island. Like Pemba Island, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her the name. Oh. What about this one? This one? Yes. It's called Namelok. Adamura do wari kunya ba mara. Mara do fora ha ma yele na loito. Mara do fora ha ma yele na loito kage. Odo bilotu 
Il le doit être un gagnant ici, il le roule, basti ni la tombera. Nenga ya yana, nenga ya yana ni giti orva yalla yo ngara ini. Stephanie, how many people live in this boma? Um, I never counted, but I think it's about 40 maybe. Oh wow, nice yes. community. Yeah, it's a big family. <laughs> You're never alone. This is why Yaya likes this way of life. Because <laughs> there's always people to talk with. <laughs> this is the Maasai way of showing, or the way of showing respect to elder Maasai. Nyana engaji engai niai, nyana engai niai. Nice. Why am I? Did you go and ask? Can you go and ask my sister to come? Yes, I did. Amu, amu do or my sister. Amu ninge. And get Nigi bu nato ni dua hawa kinte ni bu, ngi dua anyor keno hi, anyor tuku, mata ore dua hui yari, anyor ara dua ngi fai anyor na ini ai, o singi peru kuri na nigi bu nato ni, o singi no lungi gili apu yari kuangai niki nyor rage tuku, enya rage kamu, kito ni yote ni bu, ore na riyo ni kito ni yote ni bu, neki ngarenda ni bu, neki nyor rane nyor range rang. For us, it doesn't exist like this because we were raised to I... not think about it. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about your story. How did you get here? Um, I got here, I got here, the first time I came here was in 2011 because I had met uh, Sokoine on Mafia Island where I was working as a research volunteer and he was working there also as security guard for a dive center and I, I already spoke Swahili at that point and I was trying to speak Swahili to him a little bit but he didn't seem so interested, he was like quite shy but then someone after maybe three weeks on the island told me that he likes me and I was like what? Crazy! Because I didn't think that he would like me at all. Um, but so we got talking and then we ended up being together. And then uh, my contract had ended and I wanted to stay in Tanzania and I wanted to stay with him. So I said, hey, let's go to your traditional Maasai home because for me, I thought this was the only way for me to keep hold of him. Mm -hmm. I knew if I left him, we wouldn't be together anymore. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And so you've been living here for how long? Uh, nine years now. Nine years mm. in this Maasai village. Yeah, in this Maasai village. <laughs> mm. Stephanie recently went viral on YouTube when she appeared in a video telling the story of her marriage to Sokoina, her Maasai husband. The video got over 10 million views to date. Mm -hmm. 
Nada, apa apa ya mu? Inya riyet ni tono penyor bayalin. Oh yo, ni mek inya riyok tenen nanu apa? Mai nanu nenen nanu apa peny nato nur bayan? Ayi nanu nur bayan layu orang guni kitua, negi pun nua tu ni open. Ada amud amat di tarang kita ni mati jodoh dua kamar damar orang ki, negi buat ulu ti dia negi buat tu ni. Niki ngadunya dua yoga nak lorong repok. Niki boleh yoga tu niti aku la a a a a Yusim. Hatta meteor bayan. Oh ye, ngeri ye tuan meteor bayan ini Yusim. Nada apa apa? Ijo itu, ihal dah ye. Iu ni cuci yoga. Ruko asin dah engkau ni. Eh. Eh. Ayo saja kita. Iru ko si engkau ni. Amu si dah. Ore nindai, ngia sentai tu bulu ni loko aku lini, inyor orang ni open. Ore ninger masai, nenyor ninge engkang sapu nadi lunga nak kumo, nete naya u lolotunga na, nebo nuaka nyor u omeroro ni dobo kinte nebo enyora. Nata, bagi benda dia sentai tu, ngia sentai miyo. O sentai dia dah tanjib miyo lolo, ngia siye tu bulu ni nara nara orba ya nobe. Basi ni moku siye. Asal ni kita mau bayar orang jangan, mesti bayar orang jangan orang bayar lagi kita nak boleh ni aku pergi nalar tu, nur bayar lagi tu. Why do you think it's so difficult for us raised in the so-called West to understand the Maasai way of love and marriage? I think um, because I had to question myself that same thing because it takes a lot of time for us and a lot of effort to get out of the ways or the system or the way of thinking that we have been raised to think to believe like our thoughts our western thoughts on love and marriage and even what is right what is wrong um, we have been raised with these thoughts from when we were little of course that we think when we grow up that these are this is the only way to live but then actually when you travel and you meet other people and you talk to them, especially when you talk to them in their own language, when you really get to understand how they think, then you realize that actually my way of thinking is not the only way of thinking. And right and left and good and bad, these are like very, they, they can be defined in many different ways. So mm -hmm. it's difficult because we have to let go of everything that we have ever been taught is right. Mm -hmm. So you have to let go of that. And that's really difficult, yeah. I think. Then I get on that. Then the the two of you, and I know how to go in it. And I get it. Can you? Then I get that thing, Amu. Eh, that by the way, I get your heart. That's the day, Amu. When then then your heart, then then get that. In that your heart, then run away or run your heart. Oh, you? Then get your heart. You get run away or come. But I just don't know. Then your heart, I get that. Run away or come. Kaya <laughs> 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 And it's not just the marriage customs that are changing around here. The Maasai who still live a traditional pastoral lifestyle have been witnessing huge shifts in how they raise their cattle. Unexpected droughts as a result of the changing climate or new and expanding farmlands encroaching upon traditional Maasai pastures. These are just some of the factors changing this traditional way of life as we speak. That was Yayai and her perspective on marriage. Now, look, I know it's not all rainbows and butterflies, and I know that I, as a Mzungu, um, an outsider, a wife foreigner, will never hear about even half of the problems that 
people in Maasai marriages face. But I hope that what this video gave you is a slightly different perspective on how family structures can work and that there is no single answer to what a good marriage should be. Every culture has its own version and it's all about how we were raised and the ideas of romance and love and marriage that we've internalized along the way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and that you got a slightly different and new perspective out of it. That's all I can ask. I want to give a big, big, big shout out to Stephanie who invited me to her village and who enabled this conversation, who actually made it happen. A massive thank you to Yaya for sharing her story and to you for coming here with an open mind. All right, I guess I'll see you in the next